Have you ever wondered what kind of toys the richest kids on the planet play with? For the most part, they want what every kid wants, but when it comes to special gifts, the sky is the limit for these kids. Let's have a look at the top 10 most expensive toys billionaire children. Number 10. Nintendo Wii Supreme. At number 10, we have the Nintendo Wii Supreme. This is like your normal Nintendo Wii, but with a slight twist. There have been quite a few items we know of that have been made to blink, and in 2009, we saw the Nintendo Wii go through a similar makeover. Although the Nintendo Wii has now been discontinued, Stuart Hughes has made sure that it remains relevant for gamers living a luxurious life. With only three of these units ever made, the Nintendo Wii Supreme costs a hefty $497,000. The Nintendo Wii Supreme is made using solid 22 karat gold, weighs over 2.5 kg, and took six months to craft. The front buttons are home to 78 0.25 karat flawless diamonds, weighing a total of 19.5 carats. If you're a billionaire and enjoy your toys, you can still order one on Stuart Hughes's website. Number 9. The Gold Rocking Horse At number 9, we have the Gold Rocking Horse. Celebrity couple powerhouse Jay-Z and Beyonce are known and loved in every corner of the world. Now, usually, the billionaire couple like to keep their lives very private. But, in 2002, they were blessed with a baby daughter who they named Blue Ivy. The couple splashed a handsome $1.5 million on their newborn baby daughter, including $22,000 on a fantasy Posh Tots carriage crib. And although it's hard to believe, over a quarter of the $1.5 million was spent on a luxurious solid gold handmade rocking horse by Japanese jeweler Jinza Tanaka. This lavish rocking horse set the couple back $600,000. It's also reported Blue Ivy received gifts from mummy and daddy's friends that included a $30,000 magical windmill playhouse and a mini Bugatti car. What parent doesn't enjoy spoiling their kids? Number 8. Gold Monopoly Set Remember playing that classic board game as a child? You know the one we're talking about. Monopoly. Well, if you have the cash, you can reminisce and play on a solid gold board. It's only fitting that a game about money is made of solid gold, right? The exclusive $2 million Monopoly set was created by jeweler Sydney Mobile in 1988. The Monopoly set is made from 18 karat gold and contains 165 rubies and sapphires that top the chimneys of the solid gold houses and hotels. And along with the luxury cards, also made of gold, the dice have 42 full cut diamonds for spots. The dice alone are worth a staggering $10,000. If you're serious about money, you might as well play with, right? Number 7. Stife the Teddy Bear, also known as the Louis Vuitton Bear. Next on our list is a teddy bear, but this bear's not for sale, so you can't give it to anyone for the holidays, Valentine's Day, or any other special occasion, and just as well too. Stife the Teddy Bear, or better known as the Louis Vuitton Teddy Bear, is the most expensive teddy bear in the world and has a crazy price tag. It was made by a famous German company that manufactures toys, Stife, and it was sold at auction in Monaco in 2000 at a cost of $2.1 million. Now, although the Stife company designed the teddy bear with the name of the famous fashion brand Louis Vuitton, it does not justify the astronomical cost 
of $2.1 million. Details such as eyes with sapphires and diamonds and gold elements can contribute to the price, but what prevailed during this auction was the emotional factor. This is what led Jesse Kim from Korea to buy this bear, which now stands exposed in the Teddy Bear Museum in Korea. Number 6. Jeweled Rubik's Cube One of the world's most iconic and popular toys, the Rubik's Cube, turned 40 years old in 2014. Invented in 1974 by Hungarian sculptor and professor of architecture Erno Rubik, the Magic Cube or Rubik's Cube was licensed to Ideal Toy Corporation in 1980. The Cube won many awards after it was launched across the globe, including the Best Puzzle of the Year in 1980. The Rubik's Cube is one of the largest selling puzzle games across the world and is also considered the best selling toy in the world. To honour the 40th anniversary of the mind numbing puzzle, a one of a kind cube was created by Diamond Cutters International. Crafted in 18 karat yellow gold, the cube is set with a total of 1,360 jewels. On each panel, there are 25 precious stones in invisible settings. The classic coloured panels of the Rubik's Cube have been recreated using diamonds, sapphires, emeralds, rubies and amethysts. The Rubik's Cube took about 8,500 man-hours to create. This jewel cube is estimated to be worth $2.5 million. Now that's a little higher price tag than the one on the original plastic puzzle most of us have tried, probably unsuccessfully to solve. Number 5. Diamond Soccer Ball In 2010, for the first time in FIFA's history, South Africa was awarded the honour of hosting the FIFA World Cup. This was a cause for celebration, and a local jewellery house by the name of Shemansky definitely celebrated in the most exquisite way possible by creating the world's most expensive soccer ball. The ball took three months to design and produce. The Shemansky soccer ball cost a whopping $2.59 million, and there's a good reason for it too, boasting 3,500 carats of South African diamonds, the world's most expensive soccer ball includes 6,620 white diamonds and 2,640 black diamonds and weighs an impressive 4.8 pounds. The ball was created to entice wealthy tourists and soccer enthusiasts to buy some of Shemansky's South African gemstones. Shemansky also created crystal replicas of the most expensive soccer ball so they could be displayed in their local stores and auctioned for charity. Aside from the ball, Shemansky also created a 9.3 carat World Cup dome ring worth nearly $16,000 and a pair of silver commemorative World Cup cufflinks worth $129. Number 4. Madame Alexander Eloise doll. Coming in at number four is the Madame Alexander Eloise doll. Now, if you thought Barbie was expensive, this one might be a shock. Created by doll designer and the toy's namesake Madame Alexander, this stylish handmade doll comes wearing Christian Dior clothes, Oscar de la Renta fur, and Catherine Bowman accessories, decorated with Swarovski crystals and nine carats of diamonds. She's one of five total, each coming with accessories like an equally stylish dog for one. Number three, Mini Lamborghini Aventador model car. This one's for all you car enthusiasts out there. If you thought a real Lamborghini was expensive, just wait until you see the price tag of one that you can pick up with one hand. The world's most expensive model car has just been unveiled for a cool $4.8 million and it's only one eighth of the size of a real-sized Lamborghini. Lamborghini's love of special editions 
may be getting out of hand. Built by German model maker Robert Golpen, the model of Entador was spun and milled from carbon fibre, just like the original, but laced with gold thread. The seats, the steering wheel, and the headlights are finished with diamonds, but the precious metals and jewels alone account for $2.7 million of the car's asking price. After taking about 500 hours to build the model, using computer data shared by Lamborghini, the Mini Bull was taken to auction and an eye-watering $6.2 million was set by the auction house as the buy it now price. Now that's roughly enough to buy 15 actual Aventadors. Number two, Loisler, the bird trainer doll. Loisler, the bird trainer, is four foot tall automation and comes complete with a sword, flute, a pair of singing birds, an embroidered Renaissance garb, and an asking price of $6.25 million. The world's most expensive doll won't be found on a shelf at your local store. In fact, the only place you're likely to see Loisler, a four foot tall figure of a young man carrying a sword, holding a flute, and dressed in embroidered Renaissance garb, is in the Swiss workshop of his creator. French born Christian Bailey, the genius behind the bird trainer and an expert on automation, has written two books on the subject. And finally, at number one, the Estelat Castle Dollhouse. Every little girl enjoyed playing with a dollhouse. But the Astelat Castle Dollhouse is no ordinary dollhouse. It has a library, a wine cellar, and 27 other opulent rooms brimming with oil paintings, rare books, and museum quality furniture built by master artisans. The ceilings are a little low though. In fact, the entire home is about nine feet high. Astolat Castle is the most valuable dollhouse in the world, with an estimated value of $8.5 million. The seven-story marvel features multiple staircases, hallways, and secret passages. And, of course, a wizard's tower at the top level, complete with tiny telescopes and an observatory. The house has working electricity and plumbing, and it weighs nearly 900 pounds when fully furnished. The magnificent castle was built over a 13 year period between 1974 and 1987 by Elaine Dale, an expert miniaturist. Artisans from around the world also created custom furnishings for the house, including tapestries, gold chandeliers, and miniature books with actual printed pages. Many of the items in the castle were more expensive to build than their full-sized counterparts. But when your home costs $2,035 per square inch, only the finest furnishings will do. That's our top 10 most expensive toys of billionaire children. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thanks for watching.